Well, as we slowly head toward warmer weather, spring and summer are when we see an increase in window falls in Oregon and Washington. And this week is Window Safety Week. Chad Carter spoke with one family who's working to make your home safer, safer after their son fell out of a second story window. We wish we had known. You know, we didn't know about window guards and window stops. And if we had, and we had them installed in our windows, then um, our son wouldn't have almost died. It was a late October afternoon in 2010 when Jason and Becca Keen Cunningham's three year old son tumbled out of his second story bedroom window, forever changing his life and theirs. And we were trying to get him not to play out with the cords, so we'd wrap the cords up really high so we couldn't reach them because we knew about strangulation danger. And so he, being a three year old inquisitive boy, climbed up so that he could reach those cords, and that's how he fell out. Now as part of Window Safety Week, they're spreading the message of window locks and safety components in hopes of saving the lives of kids as the weather gets warmer and windows open for fresh air. We live with our regret and sadness, disappointment and guilt. And the closest thing we get to a respite is to help prevent other people from having to feel the way that we'll have to feel for the rest of our lives. Window falls have dropped dramatically in the last two years in Oregon. According to the Oregon Trauma Registry data, falls have decreased 46 percent between 2009 and 2011, in large part to the Stop at Four campaign, a reminder to all parents to install devices on their second story or above windows to limit just how far they can open, preventing falls. For Becca and Jason, their son has recovered remarkably well, but still has difficulties and is improving daily, a lesson they hope no one else has to learn. I want to get it down to zero. I don't see any reason why any child should ever fall. Chad Carter, Coin 6 News.